This is the University of Lagos. It appears unusually quiet as regular students are on holiday, but part-time and sandwich students are present. As the NASA strike begins again, the students are appealing to authorities involved to address the union's grievances. I want to print my project so that I can submit to my project supervisor. There is no light on campus because the non-academic staff are not around. The light is off. Even the lecturers are not there to attend to us because they cannot stay in the heat. The major effect is on the fresh year students, the incoming students, now the new entrants. And they were supposed to start their registration this morning, which they actually started at the main auditorium, at the most purpose all. And while they're having this, we're told that the members of this NASA people came around and then had to chase them away. Still in the southwest, but at the University of Ibado in Oyo State, workers are seen in their hundreds as they occupy the vice chancellor's car park and officials of the union address members who turn up for the protest. The government is particularly tilting towards a particular group, you know, while neglecting the other three groups in the university. And we have been trying to make sure that this did not happen today, but it seems government is not particularly interested. At the Oshu State University, the crisis is deeper, as the Vice Chancellor, Professor Labo Pupola, and the university's non-academic staff had been at loggerheads before now. So this industrial action makes the situation worse, as the entrance of the Oshubo campus of the university was shut by the protesting workers, with palm fronds blocking everyone from gaining entrance into the premises. In the far north, in Bochi State, students of the Abubakar Tafawa Balewa University Bochi, who have just commenced their exams, may be the worst hit. Students just coming out from the examination hall are seen discussing the exam questions for the chairman of the Joint Action Committee, Bolchi Branch, Comrade Austin Jaddy, says their exams may be postponed if the strike continues. You can see the students, particularly those that have started the CBT test, I think uh, the all the, the, the centers are shut down. And if you don't have water, you don't have electricity, you don't have bus to transport them, particularly those are on this campus, I think it's going to affect them as vastly. The Joint Action Committee of the University of Jos in Plateau State is in compliance with industrial action. As it appears, more chapters of the union may join the strike in the coming days.